Thanks for staying with us here on STL TV Live. We're back with Nick Tullis from Shadows of St. Louis. And again, I should preface that a Shadows of St. Louis is the exhibit that your photography is going to be shown at this Friday. Yes, ma'am. So tell me again, we were looking at your photos. This is obviously a collection of photo uh, photos of homeless people in St. Louis that's going to benefit this event, St. Patrick's Center. How did, tell me again how you came to, to partner or to work with St. Patrick's Center um, and how this all came together. I had an encounter with uh, a man that I mentioned earlier, DeMarlo, and um, his generosity, considering his situation, had really shocked me, and I felt like I had to, like I wanted to do something with my passion to give back to the community, um, to sum it up, and uh, so I figured a good way to give back would be to um, have this silent auction, an exhibit to benefit St. Patrick's Center. Okay, and so we talk. What, as a photographer, do you see yourself as as a street photographer? Is that how you sort I don't of identify really, yourself, or just as a photographer? I don't even really label myself okay. as a photographer. I mean, I guess technically that's what I am. Um, I just don't call myself that, but I do enjoy taking pictures. I guess at the end of the day. And so, do you? I mean, is it that when you're downtown, do you intentionally go downtown looking for people to to photograph or for architecture or what is it that you sort of how did this all come about for you and your interest in photography I so say. um when i first started taking pictures it was on my street that i live on um which is just the back road really mm -hmm. with a bunch of woods and that got boring real quick <laughs> um so my mom worked in st louis at the time and i would ride along with her whenever i could and uh any chance i got i'd walk around downtown and I started out just taking pictures of like the buildings and the architecture. Um, and as I was taking pictures of the streets and like the buildings and all the cars passing by, some guy had asked me um, what I was taking pictures of and was like, hey, take my picture. And uh, I took his picture and got his portrait and sat there and talked with him for a few minutes and gave him some change in exchange for the picture. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of what I've been doing since then. And were you doing this all initially on your iPhone, or were you always doing yeah, all, it on a professional? all initially on my iPhone. Wow. I got my camera because of my phone. Wow, and it, how so? Um, like, I wanted to step it up. Like, I really like the way um, the phone, or the camera on the phone works, but I had wanted to try, um, like, a professional-grade camera for a while. So I figured, why not both? Yeah. And I've been using both since then. And then we're again taking a look at um, some of your photographs. I mean, it's, it's really interesting because with photography you can capture a mood, capture so much. I mean, when you're taking pictures of people, especially in this case of homeless people, how do you as a photographer want to interact with them? Are you just trying to lay low and capture the moment or um, do you actually, are you more approaching them? Yeah, I, I usually approach them because I don't want to, I don't want to seem like a creep and like take their picture. Um, without them knowing and then have them like catch me and then I look real weird and I'm like kind of like oh and start <laughs> running um so I approach them and ask um plus when I ask that usually gives me the chance to in exchange give them some change mm -hmm. so that um you know that gives them something uh like maybe a bright spot in their day sure um plus a lot of the people in the streets enjoy the interaction mm -hmm. um the conversation so I I don't want to avoid that, right. so I ask for their picture, and that usually starts conversation. Tell me a bit about, so the exhibition is on, um, the event is on Friday, but there's a GoFundMe page as well, and tell me a bit more about that. Um, the GoFundMe is GoFundMe.com slash Shadows of St. Louis, and uh, that was, it's still going on, um, but anyone that can't make it to the show and would like to donate, that's where people can go. Um, the proceeds of everything are going to St. Patrick's Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main goal for that, that GoFundMe was so that we could get prints and pay for a bunch of the stuff to put on the show. Okay. Um, to cover the expenses yeah. of doing it, for sure. No, this is, I mean, it's a really wonderful idea. And you're so young and to, and to have mm -hmm. a great idea and not only just to have the idea, but to actually execute it. It's really, really I've wonderful. I've had a lot of help from uh, my mom, who's, here supporting me mm -hmm. um, and a, a couple of other friends have been supportive too um, and helping with uh, like prints and I've also had a lot of support from some companies too that have donated stuff like uh, gift cards that are going to be auctioned off or uh, I think we've decided now to do raffles mm -hmm. for them um, but companies like Soltaco have helped uh, they've chipped in Urban Chestnut 
um, brewery. Um, because with that, with these kinds of events, when they're fundraisers, you need as many yeah. as many things donated as possible, and it has to be a collaborative yeah. effort. Well, thank you so much for being here. We've got the information there for you. It's Shadows of St. Louis. It's an art exhibit and silent auction benefiting St. Patrick's Center. You can see Nick's photography on display and purchase it as well. It's this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Soulard Art Market and Contemporary Gallery right there on South 12th Street. For more information, go to nicktullisphotos.com or you can donate to help the proceeds go to St. Patrick's Center to go to, and so you can go to the gofundme.com page there on your screen as well. Nick, again, thank you so much thank and good you. luck. Good luck with all your future photography endeavors, yeah. I should say. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, when we return on STL TV Live, we'll chat with Narthana Primachandra and Vicki Brown from the St. Louis Dance Festival. We'll be right back after this.